Hola, chess people. Coach Matthew back with an opening trap. We're going to see a couple of openings with the same trap. You can see it on the screen. It has to do with our prior video that the elastic knight, aka the rubber band motif. So a knight will move and discover a new attack for an ally and sustain the ally it discovered the attack to. The rubber band motif. Okay, here we go. We're going to have two examples. This is a chess quickie, but will be filed in the 500 because these are essentially miniatures. These are known opening traps. Commit these to memory. Now, in terms of the 500, how do we do that? How do we contribute to our 500 effectively? Well, this is what you do. Once again, the magic number is three. So what we do is, provided we do it the proper way, we write down the notation thrice. Once, twice, thrice, chicken soup and rice. Maurice Sendak, A Book of Seasons, is one of my favorite books to this day. To this day. I've loved that book since I was a kid because I thought it was neat. And I used to work in a library. And to this day, I still very much enjoy that book. Nonetheless, write down the notation thrice. Then what you do, you play through the game thrice over the board with the notation OTB stands for over the board yeah so you have your notation you play through the game three times to get the physical memory you're learning the game and then try it once for memory without notation, just the board and you. No notation. You're trying this once from memory so as to memorize this game, not to remember the alphanumeric data input. No, so as to understand the game in such a way as you can explain it to a beginner and they can understand themselves. So write down the notation thrice. Play through the game thrice over the board with notation and then try the game try to play through from memory once and if you fail you go back and you play through the game again with the notation and the board and the pieces thrice and you repeat but if you are successful you do it again from memory keyboard's a little longer here So if successful, try again from memory and repeat until you get to three times from memory. So we're going to have times two. Now, if you're successful with that third successful attempt from memory, then you try it again the next day. And if you've got it, then you've got it forever. Three times, Ukshmal in Mayan. Ukshmal, U-X-M-A-L, Ukshmal. Don't ask me how I know that. Actually, it's Rick Bayless. Again. 
And if you've got it the next day, you've got it. If you ever fail one of these attempts to memorize as in understand a game, you go back to the prior step. And it's okay to fail, no problem. Try it again, no problem. Step. So, we're going to look at the elastic knight. Now, that's how you regard these miniatures we're seeing today are quite short miniatures. But in any game, it's the same process. Some students skip the recording phase. They've already recorded their game. Do they need to write it down again? Well, yeah, that's to the wind. I really don't know. But the important thing is to master the physical memory combined with the mind. So play through the game. That is important. Seeing it multiple times is important. Analyzing it yourself is important. So here we go. Elastic Knight E4. We're going to see two examples of the Elastic Knight, a.k.a. the rubber band motif. E5. Okay. Petrov. Russian game. Petrov was born in 1794. Let me repeat that. This position is known as the Russian game or the Petrov defense. Petrov, the player this is named after, was born in 1794. With the current calendar system we generally use. That's going way back. Now this is how not to play against the Petrov. What white does in the next several moves is silly. It's dumb. Don't do it. White has the first move and should retain their initiative by taking on e5, but does not. Knight c3. Okay, fine. d6. d3. Bishop b7. Bishop g5. Yeah. Castle. Sure. No problem. White to play and blunder. Well, there is some silly moves, and then there is the move that leads to the Elastic Knight. That's what we will see here to demonstrate this idea. Knight d5. This is losing tactically. Black to play and win. Watching at home, go ahead and pause it. Here we go. Black to play and win. Knight takes knight. What does white do? White can take the knight or take the bishop. If they take the knight, black will take on g5. And if white takes again, black will take again. Let's count the minor pieces. Two against one. Black is winning. So they won't do that. What else will they do? Take. The Elastic Knight. Note how the Knight has this relationship between the ally it discovers in attack 4 and still sustains it. This is the rubber band. This is the Elastic Knight right here. This relationship. This is the rubber band motif of the Knight. Elastic Knight. So, Knight takes. And let's say instead, the white pieces take on E7. How do you take back? If you take with the Queen, you lose the Knight. So you take with the Knight. And black has three minor pieces, white has two. Black is winning. The elastic knight. This is a very trivial example, but it is here to demonstrate the idea to the student. The elastic knight. 
White's knight d5 is losing tactically. The elastic knight, the rubber band motif. Let's see another example. Okay. All right. Example number two, elastic knight. We're going to have a French. Parlez-vous français, coach Matthew? Non. Non. Je m'appelle Matthew. That's it. That's where my French ends. I used to play the French. We will have a video on the French defense. A lot of players hate the French defense, and I'm not sure why. Out here, out here, where kids are tactical wizards, usually. Kids of any rating range. It doesn't matter. There's some new there's some kid who's new to the circuit, just playing in their first couple of quads. Does a zillion tactics on chesskid.com. That's very standard operating procedure for around here. I don't want to get into a tactical shootout with a kid. I will rather head to an endgame with a nice pawn structure. And a lot of beginners, a lot of beginner and young students will struggle against the French. It's easy to drop a pawn when you first play against the French. Why? I think it's a lack of experience, but I'm not quite sure. So d5, okay. Let's have a French advance. e5. c5 is the standard French move. If you don't play c5 and you're playing a French, you're not playing a French. I don't know what you're doing. You play c5 here. In this position, you always play c5. Once again, note the pawn chain of blacks is pointing toward the queen side. Where do you play? Where does the next pawn go? Well, in the direction the main pawn chain points. C5 is correct and accurate. We have pawn C3 to reinforce the D pawn with another pawn. Pawns like to guard pawns. Both sides have a nice pawn structure. So far, so good. So what? No, I'm kidding. Knight c6, knight f3, standard French operating procedure. Bishop d7, uh, okay, yeah, not bad. I mean, where else is it going? It's the bad minor piece. Each system will have a bad minor piece potentially. Potentially. Now, if you know the bad minor piece of your system, you can seek to trade it off. Get rid of it. Just trade it evenly for whatever other minor piece. Get rid of the bad minor piece. This pawn on e6 and the pawn on d5, him in the bishop. It has pawns on central squares of the same color. It is a bad bishop. The French player, the player with the French defense, would rather trade the white square bishop off. It might come out on a6 in a lot of variations. Maybe not a lot, but you get the point. Get rid of it. So, bishop d7 and white blunders. Blunder, blunder, blunder. We see bishop to b5. And, yeah. I think the viewer knows what the move is. We are going to see the elastic knight, a.k.a. the rubber band motif at work right here bishop b5 in a french when their bishop is on d no it's just playing into their hand and tactically of course this is not playable black to play and win what do you do utilize the elasticity of the knight knight takes e5 what does white do they have two choices they're down a pawn number one if they take the knight Say they play knight takes knight. What do you do? You take the bishop up a pawn, winning. So they won't do that. If they take with the pawn, it does them no better. So that's no good. So what if they take the bishop? Bishop takes bishop. Well, who takes? The queen? No, the knight. 
once again the elasticity of the night this knight can take on e5 and discover an attack for its allied piece that it sustains from e5 the elastic knight this rubber band that the knight makes on the board potentially the elastic knight the rubber band motif black is winning here no matter how the cards fall so the rubber band motif this is it happens in opening systems it happens in defenses is it the most common trap or tactic in the opening no does it happen yes is it tricky yeah it can be somewhat tricky the knight is not a linear moving piece we do want to know where it's going next and the elastic knight is very real you will see it in your games you will see this material again the last video we just put up we saw it in wesley against gary so the elastic knight the rubber band motif you will see it in your opening and defense play in that phase of the game the opening be on the lookout for the elastic knight aka Rubber band motif. Thank you for watching.